part two of Toka Hawk, our investigative report on uh, CUC. It's about um, exposing everything that we have on hand about what is going on with CUC. So uh, again, I bring you back. Um, and I'm going straight to uh, the current situation where the governor exercises executive authority. Now I'm going to explain this, as, I'll, I'll try to explain it as uh, thorough and, and uh, uh, on, for everybody to understand. Okay, what, what they're talking about on uh, the executive authority, what gave this governor the power to raise these rates back up? Okay, uh, back in, uh, in uh, June of 2007, I went after a bill which I identified uh, before as House Bill 215-246. Uh, this bill is actually a bill that was authored by um, Arnold Palacios, the minority floor leader, and uh, members of uh, the committee. Now, this is the section here that they're talking about, that they uh, intentionally left out uh, out of the bill. And uh, my concern here is, is we did submit a proposal on this section here. And this section says, says here, the electric charges and rates in this section shall supersede and replace the rates established by the amendments of Part 24 of the electric service regulations and so forth and all the way up to uh, from uh, effective date October 27, 2006. Now, the battle here is is uh, this provision here, right here, 15 through 22 should have been taken out when this bill was introduced on the floor. This section here, from 15 through 22, should have been taken out from the original House bill. Um, when we had submitted a proposal back in June of June of 2007 right here. June 27, 2007, Toto Tonu CNMI Association submitted, submitted a proposal, a rate proposal as requested by the Speaker of the House, Oscar Babalta. And in our proposal, we specifically noted, noted this provision here on this original House Bill, House Bill 246, to remove a certain portion there, a certain section of the provisions. And that is right over here. It says, remove paragraphs 18 through 22, for there is no public utilities commission, no PUC commission at the time. So um, this is where the, the controversial is right now, because uh, I'm leaning towards uh, uh, a deception here from the House Minority Floor Leader and uh, the rest of the PUC, PUTC committee, both the lower house and the upper house. Uh, I challenge this issue because what were these people doing? Their uh, recent letter from uh, Congressman Taman indicated that there was 24 lawmakers that signed and agreed to override this bill. And, you know, aside from the 24 lawmakers, you have the legal counsels who actually look at this 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 documentations before it even gets on the floor. So my 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 biggest question here was this an electioneering issue Bef that they uh, actually just passed it and pretended or acted like uh, these things didn't even uh, exist that uh, this was a problem that uh, down in a few weeks or months that you will give the governor the authority to uh, to exercise his executive powers those are the issues we have right now so i'm leaning towards a total deception by this legislative body in regards to house bill 15246 um, um, i'm really uh, disappointed with this because they are the ones responsible for giving the governor this authority. Now, the other factor that I can I can f 
figure here is this has also been an issue uh, uh, pressuring the community, the consumers, and uh, you know, putting the pressure on and oppressing them to to uh, agree to uh, privatization.